Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we will check fresh kit from Brand Gun. And as usual don't forget to read full review article, you can find link here in the video description below. So just click it and you will find text in English and Russian with photos of this particular kit. So this is a new release, it's 172nd scale, A36, a patch and it copies USF version. So as you can see box is not that big because kit itself is also quite small with this 70 second scale kit. We have this quite nice uh, drawing of the aircraft as a box art. Here you can see comparison with my hand. And on the side we have some information about the manufacturer, some safety advices. Here we have all marking options which are included into this kit. As you can see there are plenty of them. And of course on the other side there is just a model designation. So this is a side opening box, just give me a second. Here is what we have inside, as you can see there is plenty of space. And all plastic frames are packed together. So now we're gonna open them and check them closer. Straight away I want to say that this is a not a kit for complete beginners, because some of the parts will require due care and there is a PE thread included and also resin included, so there will be needed some experience, but still it should be interesting to assemble it in 170 second scale. So here we have first plastic frame, as you can see it is dedicated to wing parts, uh, parts division is quite typical, so we have one lower half and two top halves, uh, also we have here note that ailerons are molded together with top halves, and inside we don't have positioning elements, so you have to be careful with this as well. And that's also one of the moments which requires some previous experience to work with this plastic. Next we have second plastic frame. Here we have fuselage halves. Both are molded together with tail segment. Here we have wheel wells, propeller, cockpit floor, exhausts which are molded separately and that's quite surprising. Maybe there will be uh, some resin upgrade from this manufacturer. Uh, also tail wings which are molded as one piece part, rather. And as for the fuselage parts, they have nice external detailing. As you can see, resist panel lines and riveting is present here. I would say riveting looks a bit rough, but Still you have to check references, maybe it is like this on the real airplane. Here you can see what's inside, again we don't have any position pins and there is no cockpit detailing so I can guess it will be assembled separately and inserted between halves. Last brown plastic sprue is dedicated to minor elements. So here we have cockpit walls. Also here we have flaps which are molded separately and that's quite a nice feature on 70 second scale. Front part of the air intake, pilot seat, some landing gear parts, bombs here and here we have even dashboard. So let's zoom in and check those cockpit walls. As you can see they have some pre-molded elements but of course careful painting will help to bring them out. Here you can see dashboard, we have some pre-molded dials. Again with Careful painting, you can make it look nice. And then we have next component. This is a decal sheet. Here it is. There is no mention where it was printed, so I can suppose that it was printed by Brand Gun itself. We have here all necessary symbols for marking options, which you saw on the back side of the box. And printing quality is quite good, I would say so. I hope application will, will be easy as well. Now I am opening next plastic bag. This one carries some additional extras for fine detailing of your model. And quite surprisingly we have transparent sprue packed together with PE thread and resin parts. So here is the transparent part. This is a canopy of course and as you can see it is molded as one piece part. So you won't be able to open your cockpit on your small Apache. Uh, next we have small PE thread, it is unpainted and here it is. That's a typical product for brain gun, so nothing surprising in a good sense I would say. And then we have separate resin air intake, here it is. 
which should be used on this model. And of course this part will be easier to install and you won't have to battle any seams in such visible areas. So we can consider this bonus as a nice thing to have in such small kit. Next we have assembly manual. This one is printed in form of this simple brochure. We have here a small parts map. Then we have instructions. Note that the assembly process starts from the cockpit, which should be fairly simple. But that's more than enough if you consider that the canopy will be closed. Uh, then we continue with fuselage, wings, and landing gear. And note that PE parts will be inserted on the top part of the wings. And also there is a PE part for the antenna on the top of the canopy. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to leave your opinion about this model here in the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to help us, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video review as usual, bye!